Semi-Slav Defense, Antimarin Gambit, 5, H66.BXF6QXF6. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by c6 in the Slav defense. The d4 pawn is safeguarded and under control thanks to nf3. nf6 develops the knight toward the center, adds support to the d5 pawn, and controls the e4 square. nc3 attacks the d5 square and starts to fight for the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by e6 and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. bg5 ignores the attack on the c4 pawn and develops the bishop, pinning the knight on f6. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. This defends the attacked pawn. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This is an equal trade. Recaptures. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. This threatens to kick a queen. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. This allows the opponent to kick a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is the last book move. That's a decent move. That's good. A very strong play. It is excellent. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is incorrect. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's fine. It is good. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only good move. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a great move. This protects an under-defended pawn that is under attack. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain tempo. It is incorrect. The pawn is now adequately defended. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. 
This blocks an attack on a vulnerable rook. It is good. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This poses a fork piece threat. It is quite good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. It is an inaccuracy. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. Although white is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the pawn to safety. This threatens to win a bishop. It is good. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. Recaptures. That is good. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This loses a pawn. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to block a check from the opposing queen. It is a blunder. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a bad move and black is no longer in a losing position. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That gets you a knight. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This threatens to win a knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That knight was a free one. It is ideal. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This takes down a knight who is helpless. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. 